Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending June 15th. I'd like to thank my good buddy Joe Watson for making that nice intro for my show. And if you get a chance, check out the Joe Watson Show. It's a show from Northern Ireland every Friday from 4 to 6 p.m. Central from 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Adjust for your local time. First up, this was sent to me by my buddy uh, Moto Rick from uh, CNN.com. As usual, all the links to all the stories will be below in the description box. The, uh, this article is about human DNA. The Supreme Court has finally rendered judgment on whether a pharmaceutical and other scientists can patent human DNA, and they have ruled that natural DNA cannot be patented. So I think that's a, a pretty good thing, a pretty decent ruling. So actually our own including our own human DNA, you actually own your own DNA. However, they did leave the door open, and I can see kind of the points of this, that if there's any kind of synthesized DNA, if it's modified or synthesized, then pharmaceuticals and other companies can actually patent DNA for that purpose, where they actually do something to modify it itself. So I don't think that's a bad decision, really, and I'm kind of glad to see that um, people can't just grab your genome and then just patent it or other natural plant products or stuff like that and just plant it patent something that nature created and not the company itself so I'm liking that. This next one comes from the Christian Science Monitor. Um, India is going to be the country to send the very last telegraph. Now I didn't even have any idea until I looked up this article that telegraphs were even still being sent anywhere but evidently in India it's been going on for 160 years up all the way until this time and uh, I guess as recently as maybe 20, 30 years ago, they had uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, telegraph offices, and uh, now they're down to 75 telegraph offices, and they say as of July 14th, they're going to send the last telegraph because of the fact this is a state-run um, telegraph system. It's been running a deficit of about $23 million per year, and they figure even the smallest villages in India now have at least one person with a cell phone that can get SMS messaging, so they're just going to bring it to a close. But I would say people say that the phone is actually the father of the Internet, but I would say if that's true, then the telegraph is the grandfather of the Internet because you could get pretty close to real-time communications, not only anywhere within the same country, but sometimes anywhere within the world. If you figure you knew somebody was going to be sending you a telegraph, you could go down to the office pretty much as it was being sent. So the person standing on the other end, you're basically communicating in close to real time. So to me, that's uh, the telegraph is the grandfather of the Internet. It, it will be kind of sad to see it go, but... Um, like I said, I'm surprised that it even was still functioning at the same time. Um, I'm going to keep this show rather short because it is Father's Day, and if you get a chance and your father's still around, spend some time with him, message him, at least let him know he's important. If your father's no longer around, you know, keep him in your mind. Think of something that you did with your father or something you guys did together. And uh, I want to leave you with a little story. This is from CNN also. Um, this is a little video where a guy's daughter was away in college in Belgium and at that uh, same time he had gotten his house broken into and they didn't really steal much of anything in the house itself but what they did was they grabbed the car keys and grabbed his little red Volvo well his daughter has a friend that likes to post pictures on Facebook of people's bad parking job and guess what her friend posted a photograph of her dad's car and uh, she recognized it, so she got in touch with her dad, and he thought originally, well, how could you have seen my car? You're over in Belgium. And he's, she's like, no, your car is in St. Paul, right where you're living. So um, the dad went and checked it out, and they tra tracked the car down to where it was uh, near a Goodwill store, and he uh, actually not only recovered his car back, but uh, it was in better condition than what he left it. I guess he was kind of messy with the insides of his car, and whoever stole the car actually cleaned the outs cleaned the inside of the car, and not only that, but in the trunk left him a pair of snowshoes besides. So ended up even a little little better for it at the end. But just kind of a nice little uh, warm Father's Day um, thing, you know, a little a little nice uh, nice outcome for the for what happened. So anyway, I'm uh going to skip the gadgets until next week with the flying gadgets and stuff like that. I know a lot of you are probably tired of them, and uh, some of you, you know, some people like them every show, but I'm going to skip them this show, and uh, we'll get back to some of them. I've, I've had some people send me, and I'll get some of them next week. So I want everybody to take care. Have a happy Father's Day, and I will catch you next week.